टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द एक्सेप्शन विद द लैप्स ऑफ टाइम एंड फ्रीक्वेंट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द डिस्क्रिशनरी पावर हैज बिकम द रूल डेलीब्रेट डेविएशंस डू नॉट डिजर्व टू बी कंडोन्ड एंड कंपाउंडेड एंड कंपाउंडिंग आउट टू बी केप्ट एट अ बेयर मिनिमम दस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट इवन दो देयर इज अ प्रोविजन फॉर रेगुलराइजेशन नो रेगुलराइजेशन should be ordinarily permitted unless there was a bona fide deviation in the present case it cannot be said that there was only a bona fide deviation from the building plan the time has come when a very strict view has to be taken by the court regarding illegal construction and illegal encroachments if there are rules they have to be followed otherwise there is no use having rules at all and the rule of law will be thrown to the winds if the building rules and regulations are not strictly followed a wrong message will be sent that they are not to be taken seriously and can be got over by fixing the municipal authorities by some extraneous manner the time has come in our country for very strict observance and enforcement of the building rules and regulations otherwise the urban areas will become like jungles where people will not be able to live peacefully often such violations are done in collusion with the authorities and hence we also give a stern warning to the authorities that they will be taken to task if they permit condone or tolerate violations of the building rules the price of urbanization is habitat discipline failing which the result will be chaotic urban jungles all these will no longer be tolerated by this court with these observations the appeal is dismissed the applicant is granted one week time to remove the illegal construction otherwise they will be removed with the help of a bulldozer during this period of one week the mcd will not demolish the illegal construction of encroachments so as to enable the appellant to do it himself at this juncture it is essential for us to examine the recommendations of indian law commission and the decisions of the supreme court of india in regard to the appointment of police officer as director of 
public prosecution it is thus noticed that she is awaiting her appearance to depose before the learned trial court on one pretext or the other though she could have very well been persuaded by the petitioner and his co-accused vikas yadav her real brother to appear before the learned trial court voluntarily on any of the dates fixed for recording of her statement the statement of miss bharti yadav would be very material from prosecution point of view particularly when many material prosecution witnesses examined so far have turned hostile and did not support the prosecution case apprehension of petitioner getting an opportunity to influence her in the event of his release on bail being not yet over renewed plea or bail is premature on an overall view of the matter there appears no justification to vary the previous order as prayed for